friends, welcome back to my channel. I have filled this little Bath & Body Works bag with a bunch of Bath & Body Works empties and I don't believe any of the products that are in here are ones that I featured in a Project Use It Up. So I've got a bunch of new stuff to talk about with you. A lot of hand soaps, a couple of end products, and then some of my own body care. So let's go ahead and jump in. We'll start with the four hand soaps that I have finished off. These four hand soaps are all duplicate scents that I have had before. So the first one that I have, I'm super sad that it's gone. It's from the aromatherapy line. It's Passion, which is Tuberose, Absolute, and Yellow ylang ylang oil. This is just a wonderful scent and sadly I don't think you'll be able to come across it because when this clearanced out at some annual sale I only saw like literally one of these between the three different Bath and Body Works stores that I went to. It's a really pleasant like soft floral soapy scent. I just really enjoyed it and I'm sad that it is gone. I also finished up Lavender Rose. This is a great scent. I'm not normally a lavender person but for some reason this pairing worked really, really well. I, much like the previous one I was just talking about, I'm really sad I didn't come across any rose soaps or rose candles in my semi-annual sale hunting. I definitely would have snagged another one of this. I just felt it was really pleasant. It was a nice balance of lavender and rose. I normally don't like lavender forward scents. This, for some reason, was very pleasant and I very much enjoyed it. Third one that I have is Cucumber and Lily. I've had this as a candle. The candle was kind of a dud. I don't think I've ever had it in any other body care. I was kind of over this by the time I got to my second one. This to me really smells like a shampoo. I can't pinpoint what drugstore shampoo it reminds me of, but I've always felt that way. It's really, really strong and intense. So I definitely was over it by the end, but happy to have worked through it. And then the last one that I have is a classic standby. It's Rosewater and Ivy. This smells exactly like the candle. It's dead on. I am not sure they've ever made um, an exact body care like this, but this was really strong. I would smell it on my hands, even after I would sometimes hand sanitize, I could still pick this up for a scent. Really liked it. I prefer it, I think, as a candle more so than having it linger on my body, but it was nice. Haven't had this scent in a while. All right, let's move on to Ben's products. I have two lotions that he has finished off. He finished off Graphite from the Men's Collection and Ocean. The scents on here, this claims that this one, which is graphite, is sage, bergamot spice, and leather wood. And this one is blue cypress, uh, viva tear, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, and coastal air. I'm going to be honest. I don't really think that the men's care line smells all that different. Maybe I don't have a distinct enough nose, but they kind of just all give off the same cologne base note scent. That's all they really smell. I like both of these scents on Ben and I like these lines. It's a lotion that I finally have gotten him to use, but I only will buy these when they are basically 75% off. Un Characteristically to the semi-annual sale, which there was really nothing 75% off for most of it, I will say normally they have some kind of collection or bins where they are discontinuing that particular line of scent, and that's when I'll purchase these for Ben. Um, he's got a few more of these. He is a fiend with lotion when he really is cognizant about preventing his skin from drying out. Then I've got two more body care items that I used up. The first is a scrub. I just wanna say for a second, it's really cool that I <laughs> use this scrub up. Maybe cool isn't the best way to describe it, but I think it's cool. I finished off the White Jasmine Exfoliating Body Polish, which I got in the most recent semi-annual sale. I can't tell you guys if that has happened in like the last three years where I've purchased something from a semi-annual sale and then immediately within like I don't know, five weeks of having it, have not only pulled it out, but used it up entirely. It's super cool. I definitely chose to prioritize this over other scents that I should work through or older product in my closet, but I was very happy to work through this. This scrub was really interesting. It was a white base, which I'm gonna show you right here. And it was very thick and kind of a, a good, but kind of a bad way at the same time, you really would like lay it on your skin and I couldn't even see my skin through the product. It was very, very opaque, a very white opaque product. 
And I rub it into my body and it was nice. It was a good abrasive scrub. I'm someone who prefers more of a harsher scrub than maybe like the average Joe. I just really like to feel the skin being rubbed off of my body. It just is a sensation I enjoy when I'm doing a full body scrub. And I feel like this definitely held up. They claim that for the exfoliating body polish, they use natural white clay, which is probably why it was so thick and opaque. And they also claim that they use rich volcanic minerals. Can't speak to that, but they claim that those two things together quickly removed the dead surface skin. It helps smooth and buff dry rough areas to reveal beautiful skin. This essentially to me was the equivalent of the white sand scrub that I have loved from them for a long time. I looked in the stores every time I looked at scrubs during a semi-annual sale and none of them had the white sand base. I'd imagine that's because they didn't really launch a true like tropical summer collection that we normally get that normally comes out really right around and for the purpose of semi-annual sale. But I feel like this came really close. The only qualm was that I really had to, once I scrubbed, I had to take a lot of water to get it off of my body which was kind of a nuisance. And I also noticed that it clung to the walls of my shower more so than I've noticed other scrubs doing. But aside from that, the scent, delightful. I definitely got my fill of white jasmine. I will be all set, not getting any more. I'm fairly certain this is being discontinued. I could be wrong, but that's what I thought I had read somewhere. And I'm just really happy that I was able to use a scrub so soon after buying it. I think I'm going to pull out uh, soon the watermelon scrub that I purchased because that's really a summer scent. I'm not going to want to use that in the winter months. And I'd rather just use it now versus a year from now. Last item that I have is a body lotion and I am just super jazzed with myself. I have used up the Morocco Orchid and Pink Amber body lotion. This is not the right cap. Um, I typically what I do is I choose my next lotion. I take the cap off of that and put it on the old bottle and then move the pump over because I only have one pump, which having a pump is such a luxury and I have hunted and scored the internet and finally got my hands on one. I went through phases with this. When I first was choosing my lotions, I was like, oh, it smells good, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It's like not like pulling me in. I liked this on my body. I'm not sure if it was because it was just mixed with my body chemistry or if I just liked it more as like a scent that would dissipate and I preferred it more out of the bottle, but super enjoyable. It was very nicely moisturizing. I have no real complaints. I mean, this thing is from, I wanna say like 2014. That's when I finally stopped buying lotions and I've been slowly trying to work through them ever since but I'm very pleased to have finished this off and very proud of myself for finishing it off without it being in a challenge. I predominantly was using this in the morning so basically when I would shower in the morning and like have to go about my day I would use this and at night I was preferring more of a thicker cream. So the fact that I got through this despite not using it every single day I am even more enthused about so very very happy. All right, guys, that's it for me and this round of trash. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts about the products that Ben and I have used up, and I look forward to sharing more empties with you in the near future. Bye.